What's going on guys? Holes Air Productions here. So this is going to be my first ever Mad Skills BMX 2 um, video for the series. So the new series I'm going to start is uh, called Road to Bike 7. So I'm pretty keen to get into this one. Um, I kind of thought it's necessary to make uh, make some of these videos now because um, the game's just come out worldwide. I think it was like a couple of days ago. So hopefully there's some people that want to watch this. Um, but yeah, so the plan is basically um, everything you see on this account right here um, is going to be on record. So anyone can come, as soon as I finish this uh, series, anyone can come to the channel and then they can basically check out me playing through the whole game. So it's going to take a fair few um, episodes, that's for sure, because there's there's just so many tracks here. Like it's it's just crazy how many tracks there are. Um, and the like the amount of um, effort they put into this game is just crazy, like just look at all these tracks. It's just insane. And uh, don't get me wrong, these tracks are not simple at all. Like, some of these tracks you get up here, they're just insane. Like, you've got to have the perfect, the most perfect timing um, to even beat your opponent. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty awesome game and um, I can't wait to get into it. So, I'm going to hurry up and uh, keep talking for a little bit and then I'll hurry up and get into it. But pretty much, um, yeah, I've made a new account here, Holesworth underscore P. And as you can see, I'm from Australia, so I'm not going to lie. Please don't think that this is my first time um, playing the game, um, because it's definitely not. Because the game came out in Australia uh, a lot earlier than it did for everyone else. So I've played this game a bit, but I haven't played it as much as I would have liked to. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much just wanted to tell you guys that, just in case uh, you're, you've already seen one of my other videos on my channel, I've got a video of me playing with Bike 7, so, um, yeah, that's the plan, this account, you're going to see everything on this account, everything's going to be on record, you're not going to miss a thing, so, please, if you guys are excited for this series, let me know down in the comments, or, um, just if you guys show, show some support, and, um, yeah, if, if the series gets some interest, I'll definitely keep doing it, I want to aim to do it weekly, that'd be pretty awesome, I reckon, but, yeah, I don't know, I'm going to stop talking now because you're probably getting a bit bored, but um, yeah, so we're just going to have a crack at downhill tutorial at the moment, and um, yeah, so basically you tap anywhere to start, so as soon as you tap on that screen there, the gates drop and you're off, so, and now it says hold down the, um, hold down the bottom arrow to pump downhills, so we'll hold that down, um, and then we'll hold it down now when it tells us to. But yeah, there's basically just, um, it's a pretty simple game to be honest, like there's just two arrows, the bottom arrow, then you got the, uh, let's just say the down arrow, and then the top, uh, the, the down arrow, and then the up arrow. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much, that's pretty much the main controls, there is like a flip, also a flip, um, like a flip button, which you can use, but it's not like, it's not crazy, crazy effective, or it doesn't make you really that much faster it's just all about style and if you want to do flips because um yeah who doesn't want to do flips but <laughs> but yeah if you haven't played this game before please go and download it because it's such a really fun game um yeah it's such a fun game and it's pretty simple i think that's what makes it fun though to be honest like it's not really hard but um, once you get up to the higher levels, it's just really, um, you can now upgrade, sweet. Yeah, so there's also, you can also upgrade the speed, pump, and the jump, so, yeah, so up I upgraded the, uh, I think it was the pump then, or maybe, I don't know, upgraded something then, <laughs> so hopefully it helps me a little bit, but, oh, supposed to hold the down arrow there, so if you hold the down arrow on the rollers, you just kind of, um, roll them like that, so definitely the fastest way to hit them. Unless it's a big section of rollers, you can like double sometimes like that. But I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably gonna fail the tutorial now. I did that, but I don't know it's all good. But yeah, if you guys have played um, Mad Skews Motocross Two, um, this game is a little bit similar to that. But like the big kind of difference is there's no bike control in this game. So as you guys can see here, there's not any. There's like no button that makes your bike go up and down or anything like that. There's just the up arrow and the down arrow. So, yeah, it's just pressing the up arrow makes you kind of preload, I guess. And, um, yeah, that was pretty bad. I 
fail there. <laughs> Try to talk too much and not concentrate, but... Um, yeah, there's, like I was saying, there's no bike control. Um, sweet, we got the win. So we go, we got a 12.576, 12.913. Sweet. Let's see how you fare on your own. All right. But yeah, honestly, this game, um, like I was saying, sorry, I got kind of mixed up what I was saying, but... There's no bike control, um, like Mad Skills Motocross 2, there's no kind of like, you got to try and do a wheel stand and scrub. There's not, I don't think there's any scrubs in this game yet. Maybe some of you crazy guys will find out, um, a way to kind of use the front flip, or use the back flip as like a, a scrub maybe on some jumps. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but yeah, it's definitely, um, no bike control. I can guarantee you that. It does help when you kind of um, preload before you get to a downhill. Like, I'm going to triple these rollers. That was pretty bad there. But if I, like, jump up there and then jump down, um, it just gives you a bit more speed to go down the hill because you've got a bit more... Um, I don't know. Yeah, it just gives you a bit more speed. So, yeah, you can also view and uh, share your replay here. So, that's pretty cool. You can... Um, even if you don't have iOS, um, iOS 11 screen recorder, you can chuck it on... Or you can just tap the to record, I think, or there. And then I think it just goes straight to your camera roll, which is pretty crazy because that means you can do that basically on any phone. So that's just, that's crazy. I wish more games would have that, but, um, but yeah, we'll keep going. All right, see if we can beat Bob. So yeah, that's a good example of what I mean, like um, preloading just before you get downhill and then holding the down arrow just when you go down the hill to kind of pump. So we'll just do a bit of a doubles here, I think. So that's good. But yeah, um... It was, it was like ages ago, like um, when I did download the game, when it first came out in uh, Australia, it was a long time ago, but I do remember going through some of the tracks, um, like I can't remember any of the tracks now, but yeah, I honestly remember struggling with a lot of the tracks uh, towards the end, like there was, some of them tracks are just crazy, like you got to get the rhythms perfect to even have a chance against your opponent, so... Yeah, I don't know. This series is going to be pretty awesome. I'm, I'm excited to um to see how I go now that I've actually gone through the game once, which was ages ago, but I'm excited to see how I go now. So, sweet. So, we got three gold. Um, there's also, like, a lot of cool paint you can chuck on your bike and um, just, like, a lot of cool gear you can actually get too. So, we'll just browse the bikes for a sec. All right. So, we've got bike one there. Um each bike's got, like, its special paint, I think, too, so. But, yeah, it's crazy how much, like, customizations and stuff you can do on this game. They've put a lot of thought into this game. It's just, it's such a wicked game. But yeah, it's probably no point showing you guys uh, the bikes yet because I haven't really unlocked them, so <laughs> that was a pretty bad idea, but, yeah, so we'll get straight back into it. I'm not sure if they're going to add like a versus mode in this um in this game yet, so hopefully they do that because that'll make it even more funner, but as of right now there's no versus mode in it. But yeah, I'm um, playing through the career ages ago, it did take me a while, like it's it's nothing you can't really do it in like a day or maybe even a week. It's it takes time because there is so many different... There's so many tracks to try and uh, master. But, like, the biggest tip I can give you guys now is um, you got to really focus the most on your timing. And then once you get that down, um, like, even if you just, like, restart a lot of the tracks and just keep trying to improve and just getting that little bit more... Just finding where you can just make that little bit more time, like... Um, even if you just tap like a little bit earlier or something like that and you just kind of get onto the ground a little bit um, 
yeah, a little bit sooner. You can just beat your opponent like that or improve like that. So, yeah, that's the main thing about this game is it's all about timing. So you really got to focus on that if you do want to be, like, uh, top 100 when you do get up to bike 7. All right, sweet. So we've uh, unlocked a fair bit here. So what's this? They call me shrimp, but it's only because I like seafood. Everybody knows I'm the baddest man around. All right, mate, we'll see about that. So we'll go on... Uh... Yeah, there's also, as well as, like, these other tracks, there's also, like, these um, other cool challenges you can do. Like, this one's uh, called Forest Rocket Boost. So I actually like the idea of this um, kind of uh, game mode because it's... Uh, they give you, like, an opponent that's... Um, I'm not sure why his name's Cat, but... <laughs> But they give you an opponent that's way quicker than you, but um, then they also give you, like, uh, some rockets. But the rockets are only in, like, a um, a different rhythm to what the guy's taking. So it kind of gets you to explore the track and figure out the other, the new lines. Um, and, yeah, I just think it's a really cool game mode that they've actually thought about, thought about a bit. It gets you to kind of realise there is other lines you can take on the tracks, so... Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's a really good idea. All right, so now we've got shrimp. Let's see if we can beat old mate here. I reckon we'll get him on the first go, surely. <laughs> You're a joke, and so is your bike. All right, mate. We'll see about that. Say uncle, say uncle. Well, I just said uncle, but it's not going to help you, mate. All right, so we'll double there. That was pretty much perfect. Ah, oh, shrimp, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? You got nothing. 30 metres behind. Have you ran out of uh, your tyre falling off or something, mate? What are you doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, shrimp. We killed you. What did he get? He, he got a 30.956. Come on, mate. You got to be better than that. <laughs> Uh, classic, classic excuse. You cheated. Yeah, go tell your mum, mate. You'll be right. Alright, so... Um, there's also an option if you're going really good and you've got, uh... Maybe you just don't want to... Um, you don't want to kind of, um... Maybe you just don't have enough time to go through all the tracks and, uh, progress through the bikes, um, manually. You can actually have the option to, I guess, purchase some a little bit of gold. Like, um, you can see up the top... Right hand corner there you got your rockets, your um uh your cash if you want to call it, and then you got your gold. So it says the plus buttons on each of them. So I pretty much I'm pretty sure if you press on the plus button there you can actually buy the um you can actually buy it for real money if you don't have enough time. Ah oh, sweet, there's ads. That sucks. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> That really sucks. I guess if you do get premium, this is that's one good thing of getting a uh, premium. Um, you won't get ads, I don't think. So Marvel Contest of Champions, there you go, guys. Go and download that. <laughs> nah, don't download it. Stick with VMX two, guys. Come on. All right, so we'll go to uh, Junkyard now. Have a crack at this one. But yeah, obviously, once you do uh, beat the boss, you unlock the next kind of uh, series or the next track. So, yeah, like, even the detail they've put into the background of these tracks, like, this is called Junkyard. I think it was called Junkyard. And, um, yeah, just, like, look at the background there. It's just, it's crazy the amount of detail and effort they've put into the actual background. It's just so awesome. All right, so also you get... Um, you get awarded, like, rockets after you reach certain levels, and I guess it keeps going up, the amount of rockets you get for each level. Um, but, yeah, so we've got some new paint. I'm, I'm a guy, so I don't really like the look of that too much, but uh, <laughs> I think you can also watch ads here and um, maybe gain a few more cash or something like that. I don't know what it does, but... Um, so, yeah, this is some of the gear you can get. There's uh, some of the gear you have to purchase for, like, gold, and some you can purchase for just cash. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll just keep going. I'm going to stick with my gear right now because I think the... I, I think, honestly, you don't... 
you shouldn't really get too um, too caught up with uh, upgrading your bike and trying to purchase the best gear straight away. Unless you really want to, you can. I'm not stopping you, but... Um, but, yeah, like, to me, I think I really... Honestly, I didn't really upgrade my bike at all before I progressed to the next bike. Like, the first time I went through this whole game, like... Um, yeah, I just didn't really use the upgrades too much, but they might have kind of fixed that now and made the opponents harder, so you actually have to do it before you can get the next bike, um, so you can beat your opponent to get the next bike, but yeah, I'm pretty sucking on this track now. As you guys can see, this is actually a kind of a technical track if you're not concentrating, but yeah, we got the wins. So that's awesome. Alright, sweet. So we'll uh, purchase bike two now. So we'll buy that for, I think that's at a thousand cash. Um, and it also gives you like limited time offers. Offers like, um, let's see, you will get a hundred gold, two thousand cash, two weeks of premium, one unique gear set. So you can buy that all in one. If I just click on more info, that only costs four dollars. So right now, at 75% off, so that's just, that's crazy, two weeks of premium, um, 100 gold is actually a fair bit for starting off early, so if you guys want a little bit little bit of a head start, go ahead and purchase that for four bucks, if you've got some spare change, I don't know, but um, yeah, I don't know, this is just a really fun game, guys, I really hope you enjoy the series, because I really want to do this uh, every week. All right, so we got that one pretty good, 16.274, so top 8%. So that's it's pretty cool seeing that because um, before when I progressed through it like ages ago, um, it only really said it was out of like, I don't know, 300 people or something like that, 200 people, probably not even that. But seeing it says 1,838 people already, that's just, that's awesome. Yeah, I can't get over how much, like, how good some of these tracks are, though. The rhythm, and um, especially when you get to the kind of the harder tracks, just how just how they've kind of built the tracks just makes for some awesome rhythm and awesome racing. So, yeah, I don't know if I really explained the controls, but, like, um, as soon as you press the down arrow in the air, it just kind of um, puts all your weight down and you pretty much just um, fall out of the sky. As soon as you press that down arrow and then if you press the up arrow, um, you press it on the takeoff. So there's pretty much, there is actually sweet, sweet spots on the takeoff. So if you press it, um, I'll try and explain it on this track actually maybe. So we've got some rollers here. So sometimes on the rollers, if I just kind of like um, preload and then pump back down, um, it's just a little bit faster. And especially on the downhills, if you do it, like I said before, it's just a lot better. But on, on this jump, uh, on this next jump here, I'm going to preload now. Um, I preload now, sorry, hang on. Actually, I'm going to wait for the next track to explain that. I'm just going to try and explain, like, there is actually sweet sweet spots on the game. Like, um, the timing does really matter. So I'll try and um, show you guys that. Most of you guys will know that if you have already played the game. But for those who haven't, yeah, just stick around and watch this. So that time we quadded in and then uh, fived out, I think, or maybe quadded out. All right, sweet. We got the win again. What's that? Plus 70 cash, 600 XP. Sweet. Oh, there there we go. So if you watch... um, Looks like if you watch the trailer there, you also get another extra 100 cash and then 150 XP. So that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. 
So, yeah, I'm not going to kind of mess around with upgrading my bike too much now. Um, I recommend to you guys only upgrade it um, when you need to. Like, don't go overboard with... You don't... Because, like, yeah, your opponent's not really that tough at, at the start. So, go as much as you can before you have to upgrade it. Before you feel like you have to upgrade it. That was kind of my game plan when I first kind of played it. So we've got a big ball jump there. There's a few of them in this game you really got to slow down on. Alright, so we got the win there. So as you guys can see there, if you do hit the rhythms, um, your, your opponent's actually not really that hard for now, but don't get me wrong, he's not always easy because some of the tracks, like, Towards the end, they just get insane, and it's it's just so hard to even to even beat your opponent. Oh, I cased that really badly there. <laughs> Go again. All right, that was that wasn't too bad. Maybe double. We cased that really badly. <laughs> Triple this, maybe. There we go. That worked out. Oh, look out. What was that? <laughs> <coughs> well, I don't know what the hell I just did then, but... Uh, hopefully, you, don't, you guys don't mind. I might just uh, get a screenshot, maybe. Just for the thumbnail. <laughs> Let's just see. So yeah, I cased that there. Got the triple pretty all right. Um. <laughs> all right, I reckon that, that one will do. Maybe maybe get one like here somewhere. I don't know. All right, sorry guys. I might be lagging the... um, Making it a bit choppy, the video, but... Yeah, I just want to try and get a nice uh, thumbnail. <laughs> Alright, so we'll keep going. I'm not sure how long these uh, episodes are going to be too. Like, I'm not going to make them too long, but they're also not going to be too short either. So, yeah, we'll go for a little bit more. So I shouldn't have doubled there. I should have done a triple. <laughs> oh, I did the same thing again. <laughs> uh, of course I did the same thing. <laughs> right, I haven't really found a good track to show you guys the sweet spots of the jumps, but... Let's see, so... So, also, I want to mention to you guys, um, just, like, don't think that holding the down arrow is always the fastest. Like, if I hold it down here, it does a wheel stand kind of over that. Um, but if I, like... And another big thing to mention, like, you don't have to even tap any of the arrows to make it go, so it just kind of goes by itself. And um, you, guys, you guys can see there that holding the down arrow was a little bit quicker as what I did before. Like, if I hold it here... And then tap the forward arrow on that takeoff and then down arrow just to get it back down down onto the um the ground. But some sections where it goes downhill really steep and then quickly goes uphill to a big kind of wall jump. Um it's actually quicker sometimes to just like not press any arrows and um and let your bike just go itself without doing a wheel stand because if you do a wheel stand up a hill it's it's gonna be pretty slow. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I didn't actually work that out until a while that uh like until a fair fair bit. <laughs> Look yeah, we've got a show off here next to us trying to do a flip. It's not gonna help you, mate. <laughs> Jeez, we got that really bad there though. And there's also sweet spots landing too, like 
when you get your timing perfect, you'll just see you'll just see yourself get a little bit of a boost and it's just perfect, like. Um Alright, sweet, we got up to level four. Three gold, so not too much, but we're getting there. Um, real quickly, I'm going to... I like the uh, last bit of that track, so I'm, I think I'm going to uh, just get a couple more screenshots here. I shouldn't be doing this on video because, um, yeah, it's pretty... It's kind of pretty bad to take some screenshots on video, but, you know, let's just uh, take one here, maybe. I really like the end of the track, though, like the background with the uh, skate park there. They look pretty sick. Even like with the like city in the background, like it just looks awesome. They could have had like just like a blank space in the background, but having that, it just looks wicked. Like it's awesome. All right, so track two, and then uh, number ten. So, so far, I haven't really upgraded my bike at all. I've upgraded it once, and then from there, it was it's pretty good. Like, I'm beating my opponent fairly easy. Um, I'm definitely not good at the game. I'm not going to say that, but, like, I have had a bit of experience playing it before. Um, so, I understand you guys are not going to be... You might not be this good. You might, you might have to upgrade, but, yeah, I recommend just leaving it until you really, really need to upgrade. Because, yeah, that way you'll find you just... Uh, um, you'll just be able to save up your money for the things you really need uh, for the new bikes, pretty much. That's all I spend my money on. And then once you do get a higher level, you start buying new gear and stuff like that. But, yeah. That's my biggest tip, I reckon. As well as just focus on the... Uh, to get your timing right, and then... Yeah, once you got your timing right, you've really nailed the game. It's just... I can't say it enough. It's all about timing. All right, so who are we versing now? We've got Evie or Eve. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think I can actually do that, the flip at the moment, because I don't think I have that, um, the button for it yet, but... Yeah, that's if you guys are wondering where that button was, because I was talking about the flip before, but, um, yeah, so we got the win again. Uh, we're playing pretty well, I think, but, uh, yeah, if in the, um, yeah, in the later episodes, you guys are going to see me struggle a bit, because I do remember there is a lot of tracks where I did struggle a lot, even just to finish the track, like, some of the tracks is crazy how challenging they are to even beat your opponent. But yeah, if you guys are still watching this, I appreciate that so much. And please smash that like button if you are enjoying the video. All right, we'll do a double here. What are we doing here? Big triple. So that was a... Not sure if that's the line you're supposed to take. Probably not because that was just so slow at the end. Use that rocket. Didn't really help us too much. <laughs> Use another one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if you can actually pass a level by using a rocket, but... Uh, that's low battery right now, so that's never good, but, uh, we'll chuck it on that at the moment. Hopefully the video is still recording. Yeah, so you guys can see he kind of preloaded there and landed on that tabletop back there instead of jumping... Um, over it like I did, and once again, I did that stupid line, so I just have to roll over there um, to put me back into the right line, I think. <clears throat> so double, double, double down there, then double, double. Oh, look out. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, you guys are going to get sick of this, but I'm just going to... I'm sorry. Like, I don't even want to play this um, play this account when it's not on video, even just to even get a thumbnail. Like, 
that's how serious I am about just keeping this uh, account just for you guys to, to see every bit. Um, everything I do on this account is just, yeah, it's going to be on record, so. Um, yeah, so I just saved myself there. Um, lucky to hit that roller and then uh, get back into the right rhythm. So let's see, it's up here somewhere I think the finish line is. But yeah, you guys can see the tracks are getting a uh, fair bit technical now, so <laughs> there we go. I reckon that's the thumbnail I'll use. That's that's a pretty awesome thumbnail. <laughs> um, but yeah, track two, twelve. We'll, we'll fi I think we'll finish off this kind of tracks. So I think that's I think that's all now. So congratulations, you completed the, all the junkyard tracks. Now get ready to challenge Chuck. All right, so all right, guys. So it looks like uh, that will kind of. Um, do it for this episode so you guys will uh see me challenge chuck in the next episode so um oh look here listen up butt wipe i'm strong you're weak i'll win you lose let's do this well sorry chuck you have to wait till the next episode mate but uh yeah you're not going to stand a chance mate so i think you're going to be the weak one and uh i think you should uh go and cry to your mum at the moment because you're not going to have a chance but yeah as i was saying guys um Honestly, I hope you enjoy the uh, video, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are um, pretty excited to see the whole series I do. Like, I'm being serious about um, about this account just being on record all the time. Like, as soon as I log into this account, um, I'm going to be prepared to make a video and put it on record straight away, just so you guys can see pretty much everything, um, pretty much everything on this game, so... Yeah, like I said before, please make sure to smash that like button if you're excited for this series and you did enjoy the video. And yeah, please hit that subscribe button on the channel. We're at 5.45 uh, at the moment. So we only need, I think I only need five more people until um, until 5.50 subscribers. So that's just crazy. Um, yeah, but one of my mates, I think he started doing a series like this, uh, ZSC 743 on YouTube. So his channel will be in the description, so please go and check him out. Um, yeah, he also does pretty cool videos like this, so please, please go and check him out and subscribe to his channel. But, yeah, I don't know, guys. I really appreciate you checking this out. Um, the phone's kind of dimming down now, the brightness, because it's going flat. So I better end this video here, otherwise uh, I'm going to lose the video and it's going to go flat. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks, heaps for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.